In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll show you how to install GlowShift 7 color boost vacuum, fuel pressure, and oil pressure gauges into your 2002 to 2007 Subaru WRX dash pod. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. For the purpose of this install, we'll be using a 2004 Subaru WRX to install our gauges. For safety, disconnect the negative battery terminal before starting any work on the vehicle. To install the boost gauge, locate a boost vacuum line on the bypass valve or intake manifold. Use hose cutters to cut the middle of the hose. Insert the included T-fitting into both sides of the cut hose. Place a hose clamp onto the new boost line, attach it to the T-fitting, and use the clamp to secure the line. Run the opposite end of the boost line to an open grommet in the firewall. To install the fuel pressure sensor, start by assembling the T-fitting using Teflon tape on the threads. Insert the pressure sensor into the T-fitting and tighten. Once the T-fitting is assembled, locate a fuel pressure feed line and use hose cutters to cut the line in half. Be sure to have a rag laid out to catch any fuel that drains from the system. Place a hose clamp on one side of the cut line and insert the T-fitting into the line. Place the second hose clamp on the opposite side of the line and insert the remaining side of the T-fitting. Connect the sensor harness wire to the sensor and run the opposite end to the firewall. For this install, we'll be installing the oil pressure sensor using an oil filter sandwich adapter, which can be purchased through our website. Remove the drain plug and drain the oil from the engine. Have an oil pan ready to catch the oil. Remove the oil filter. Once the oil has drained from the engine, place the drain plug back into the oil pan and tighten. Mock up the sandwich adapter to choose the sensor location. Place the pressure sensor into the adapter and tighten. Apply Teflon tape to the adapter plugs and insert them into the sandwich adapter. Tighten them using a 12 millimeter wrench. Attach the sandwich adapter onto the engine and tighten the nut adapter using a 1 16th inch socket.
Place a new oil filter on the adapter and hand tighten. Connect the sensor harness wire to the sensor and run the opposite end to the firewall. Be sure to keep it clear of any hot or moving parts. From under the vehicle, feed the sensor harness wires through a grommet in the firewall on the driver's side. With the car back on the ground, using a funnel, fill the engine with factory recommended oil. Check the dipstick to ensure the fluid is the designated level. Pull the sensor harness wires through the firewall and into the cabin. Be sure to keep it clear of any hot or moving parts. To feed the wires through the dash, remove the center console trim panels. Using a panel pop tool, remove the clock from the dash. Feed the sensor wires up through the top of the dash. Removing the radio will make running the wires easier. Once the wires have been run, reinstall the console trim panels. Drill a hole in the dash on both sides and install the pod mounting brackets. Place the pod onto the brackets and use a screwdriver to mark the holes for drilling.
drill a hole in each marked location. Place the pod onto the brackets and secure it using the included screws. Once the fitment has been confirmed, remove the pod to install the gauges. Place each gauge into the pod and use the included brackets to secure them to the pod. Do not over tighten the studs or they'll damage the gauge. Place the power harnesses into the fuel pressure and oil pressure gauges. Trim and strip the bare ends of the power harness wires. Using a butt connector, connect all of the yellow wires together with one of the trimmed yellow wires. Connect all of the red wires together with one of the trimmed red wires. Connect all of the orange wires together with one of the trimmed orange wires. Connect all of the black wires together with one of the trimmed black wires. Attach a male terminal connector to the other end of each single wire. In order to test for power, reconnect the negative battery terminal. Using a test light, locate the wire from the clock power harness that receives constant 12 volt power. Then, locate the wire that receives 12 volt ignition power. Finally, locate the wire that receives 12 volt headlight power. Attach a female terminal connector to each wire. Plug the yellow gauge wire into the connector on the constant wire. Plug the red gauge wire into the connector on the ignition wire. Plug the orange gauge wire into the connector on the headlight wire. Plug the black gauge wire into the connector on the ground wire. Attach the boost hose to the back of the boost gauge using the included hose clamp.
place the fuel pressure sensor harness into the fuel pressure gauge and the oil pressure sensor harness into the oil pressure gauge. Place the pod onto the brackets and secure it using the bracket screws. Power your gauges to ensure that everything is working properly by starting the vehicle. You've now successfully installed your glow shift gauges into your vehicle. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAUGE and we'll see you on the road.